All right, hello, this is Stephen Sadler reading to you from Money and Power. We've been talking about oil, we've been talking about the Middle East, and I want to talk about Iran specifically. Iran is part of the great, it's what's left of the great Persian Empire. That's who uh, Alexander the Great fought against and won to conquer the known world, and later the Romans fought uh, and finally uh, subdued, well, there are many, the Ottoman Turks before that, many others, but they've endured, and now Iraq is one of the most powerful countries in the Middle East. It's the only predominantly Shia sect of Muslim country. Most of the other Muslim countries are predominantly Sunni, and the Shia are a minority and uh, are often felt very oppressed and are oppressed. They don't have the same rights as other Muslims in many countries in the Gulf. And so there's a great deal of pride in Iran as it reasserts itself. It's one of the only Islamic countries that is actually standing up to the United States. At one time, they had the first democratically elected or represented government in the Middle East under um, Mohammed Mossadegh, and he wanted to nationalize the oil industry, as I talked about during Operation Ajax. CIA was working on behalf of American and British oil interests to keep control of the oil, which was critical. They were scared of it being nationalized, so they overturned that government and reinstalled the Shah, a non-elected uh, member of the royal family in Iran, to take over. But really, the CIA was running things, according to both the CIA and uh, the Revolutionary Guard, who ended up, as you know, overthrowing um, the Shah under Ayatollah Khomeini. And the, but the reason for that is the people in the Middle East realize that America is c pulling the strings, and that the leaders that they put in power are puppets. So most people in the Middle East realize that the the king of Saudi Arabia and most of these emirs and, and leaders of the clan or leaders of the country are really put into power and given their power by the military and political strength of the United States and Europe, the Anglo-American consortium, most really the oil companies, the oil consortium. And so what's happening now, there's a deep resentment growing within Islam that most Americans don't understand. They think, well, how come they hate us so much? Well, we keep overturning their governments when they elect officials. We keep taking their oil, and that money that's made from all the oil we're extracting isn't going back to the people. It's going to the handful of rich people that are supporting the oil companies that we're protecting with our military, which is costing American taxpayers a lot of money, creating these wars in the Middle East. You know, half the reason we're in Afghanistan, this is in Turkmenistan, they've got oil. They've got to pipe it down to a port. It's either going to go through uh, Iran, which isn't likely right now, so it's got to go through Afghanistan and, and Pakistan. We've also got to make sure we keep the, the uh, Russians and the Chinese out of that area because they need oil too. And so the United States is investing a lot of money militarily, but in the process, they're also disenfranchising a lot of people, and Americans don't understand why we keep having these wars over there. We're creating these wars. So every American needs to educate themselves. Matter of fact, there's a great book. Oh, where is it? The Devil We Know by Robert Baer, dealing with a new Iranian superpower. I, if you want to read more about it, he was a former CIA agent working in Iran. He knows the country inside and out. See, the Revolutionary Guards... Are, that are, uh, Ahmadinejad is, was a former member, and I think 80% of the Iranian parliament are Revolutionary Guard. They're the ones who have been helping Hezbollah and Hamas and the, the Kurds, both in Turkey and, and in uh, Iraq, and other places where people are fighting for their freedom. If we don't understand it, and if we don't address these issues, if we're not really educated about what's really going on, we're going to head into another world war. People are rising up. You can only repress the people so long. Ask any American. Our revolution was the 